Peppino, I'm so excited to bring you on the board as my new sidekick. I have a feeling you're gonna be so much better than the dead weight I had riding my coattails for so many years. Uh, are you okay? Right. Also, as a fellow Italian, I feel I gotta comment on your name. Peppino Spaghetti. Mwah! Perfecto! <gasps> so the first thing I like to do is to say my catchphrase right before I start. It just helps me get the blood flowing. Here, I'll show you. It's me, Mario! Now you try. That's uh, pretty good, I, I guess. Um, uh, now let's go over a simple attack. You ready, Carl? Sure thing! Ready when you are, Mario! Whee! It's your turn, Peppino! Give it your best shot! Yeah! Carl? You'll want to keep an eye on the power-ups. They'll really help you if you're in a bind. Pretty neat, right? No, 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 don't eat it! This is a Yoshi. He's a great at- Stop! Stop! You're going too fast! Just go easy on him! Kill me! Uh, what have I done? Okay, for the love of a god, listen to me. We're gonna save the princess, but all we have to do is jump over Bowser and cut down his bridge and nothing else. Can you handle that? Okay, Peppino. I'm going to go easy on you at first. And then... What? Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't look so bad now, do I? Hey, he's your problem now. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, as your reigning Pokemon world champion, I would like to announce that as of today, I am retired from the Pokemon circuit. Uh, um, uh, yes, I choose you. Yeah, uh, Max Montgomery, Pokemon Illustrated. Why are you retiring? After I won the Pokemon Championship, I spent some time meditating with my guru slash branding expert, Gwyneth Palpatode in its energy barn. And in that ayahuasca-induced hysteria, I found peace. I was ready to leave Pokemon behind and start my new journey. Sure, 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 sure. But, uh, like, why? What do you mean? I just told you. Hi, Chance Broxon, Pokeballs with a Z. I believe I can clarify the question. But, like, why? Uh, can you guys not hear me? Did someone use throat chop on me? Tracy Tracington, Monster Fights Quarterly. Let me try to help you out. Ash, we know you're retiring, but we want to know why. Uh, um... Let me finish. What could you possibly do with the rest of your life? Oh, I have gigantamax size plans. There's the, uh, um, uh, well, I, I mean, I'm definitely going to, uh, um. Uh-huh. This is what we're getting at. You've been in the Pokemon circuit for what seems like 25 years, and in that time, you've lost your family and all semblance of a normal childhood. It's just been decades of Pokemon battles. That's it. Don't forget the post-traumatic stress from all the terrorist organizations who have tried to steal from and or murder you on countless occasions. Not to mention the trio of insane Team Rocket members who embarked on a decades-long stalking of both you and your Pikachu. D do you have a question? Yeah, I have one. Don Chenules tore a cat fancier. Can you... read? What? Of course I can read! You haven't had a formal education in years. Hell, you've hardly been able to sleep in the same bed for more than two nights in a row. I mean, is it that hard to believe that you can't read? I can read! Prove it. Next question. Do you have any money? Of course I do. I'm the Pokemon Champion. And how much were you paid for that title? That's... that's none of your business. What kind of questions are these? No, look, I'm not asking as a reporter. This is not for a story. I'm asking as a concerned citizen worried that the illiterate man-child in front of me doesn't have food or shelter because he spent most of his childhood making monsters fight and hasn't learned any real-world skills. What if I said I was planning on going back to Pallet Town to live with my mom for a while? Look, I appreciate that you're all worried about me, but I'll, I'll be fine. 
I'm sure Pikachu has been working on some cool business ideas or something. You're banking on some cool business ideas from an electric mouse? Or something? Hey, I'll have you know that I signed a very lucrative contract with Primeape Energy Drink, and Logan Poliwag is going to set me up for life. So then you did read the contract. This interview is over. Are the allegations you read true? What are your plans now that Ash is retiring? Pikachu. Pikachu. Aww. No, seriously, I've got some cool business plans or something. Is it what I think it is? It is! <gasps> Our prayers have been answered so many sleepless nights. All right, off to the pellet maze with you. Wait, what? Little guy's got to earn his keep, right? I mean, look at him. My boy's just bursting with Pac-Man fever. It's hereditary. He's, he'll need shots. Can't I, can't I hold him for a moment? He only just arrived. You can hold him when he gets back. Let's go, little fella. Time to bring home some pellets. What? Where's Junior? I... Where's my son? I, I'm so sorry. I, I thought he could handle the maze and he'd... It'll happen so fast. Oh, oh, come on, don't cry. Why don't we just go inside and I can... Put another coin in the machine? Huh? I've been sleeping with Cubert, asshole. Hell yeah. Oh, well, that's rude. Ooh, daddy. Son? Son! And now for mother. But Cubert gets to live. I like how he jumps. Welcome back, birders. This is Indignant Avians, the only Angry Birds podcast hosted by actual Angry Birds. And for those of you who are new to our podcast, where the hell have you been? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we got a great episode for you today, right, Bob? <laughs> you said it, Chuck. In this week's episode, we're taking a look back at level 2-6. <laughs> get ready, Twitterverse. This one's going to get spicy. You couldn't do this level in 2023. Oh, no way, no way. All right, why don't we get to the good stuff, yeah? Level 2-6? Let's break it down for our fans out there, Bob. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First off, four pigs, yeah. stair-step layout, uh -huh. and count them. One, two, three bombs. Pure insanity. It's, it's absolutely nuts. I mean, you just don't see anything like that nowadays. I mean, back in 2010, life was uh, <laughs> a little bit different. But in 2023, <laughs> it's all, I'm sorry I knocked you over. Sorry I exploded your stack of wood. Sorry I hurt your feelings. <laughs> Please. <laughs> My boy is coming in hot. I can only imagine what our comment section's looking like. Roxio, we know you're listening, so return our calls, okay? Bring back levels like 2-6. Oh, yeah. 2023 is just too soft. There it is right there. Unlike 2010. 2010. All right, before we continue the sixth most popular Angry Birds podcast on Spotify, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Big Boy Wipes. Just because you're an angry bird doesn't mean you have to have angry turds. Big Boy Wipes. Uh, we'd also like to thank our other sponsors, Athletic Greens and Bomb's Grandmother. Love you, Mima. Now to break down level 2-6 properly, we wanted to surprise Bird Nation with a very special guest. Who, unfortunately, isn't here. Right. We invited Red to be on the podcast this week, but he didn't respond to our email or text or Facebook messages. Come to think of it, I haven't talked to Red since, oh man, like 2011. Me either. 2011. <sighs> man. Back in 2010, no one was more popular than us. Yep. We were the biggest stars in the world. Birds, pigs, everyone wanted to fuck us. Hell yeah. But now, in uh, 2023... God damn game isn't even listed on the app store. God damn 2023. Wow. I think this has been our best episode ever. See you next week when we break down level 27 with our very special guest, Red. As soon as he gets back to us. Baba booey, baba booey. 
You guys remember in 2010 when Lady Gaga wore that dress, the one with all the meat? <laughs> and that crazy Lost finale? 2010. Ugh, did you hear Bowser now wants us to wash our masks every week? Yeah, I always just throw mine in the dishwasher. You just gotta watch out so it doesn't melt. I'm sick of Bowser telling us how to run our lives. Um, what are those bells? Remember, remember, the 5th of December. Excuse me? You see, Bowser is a tyrant, and tyrants only respond to one thing, violence. Oh, I don't know. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, and there's only a couple of us. Gentlemen, a revolution can begin with a single spark. My brother is right. You are not alone. We are legion. Oh, wow. There's there's more of you guys. Uh, wait. He's anonymous. I'm not... We will hack the castle and take down Bowser's oppressive regime from the inside. Okay, now we're talking. Hang on. We can't just hack our way to freedom. He's right. We need to make Bowser scream! What? What's your favorite scary movie? Oh man, what's up with your mask? Did you leave it in the dishwasher too long? Okay, I think we're losing focus here. Somebody stop me! Oh come on, that's not even thematically appropriate! The people he rules are the people he depends on. We cook his meals, we haul his trash, we connect his calls, we drive his clown car, we guard him while he sleeps. That's just Fight Club! Cool masks. Are you guys guarding keys too? No! Oh, did somebody say key party? Enough! <sighs> if you guys won't take this seriously, then I'll just go take down Bowser myself. Good bye! So, uh, you guys want to come with me to that party I was talking about? Okay. Sure. Ugh, I just gotta wash my mask first. Hey, this is Mike from Dorkly with some big news. Dorkly is now fully independent and we're bringing weekly videos back. We've got brand new originals, plus we're continuing some old favorites as well. And since we're independent, we need help from you, the fans. Any support you can give really helps us keep making stuff. So consider checking out our Patreon. We got a ton of cool stuff like exclusive Patreon originals, early releases, behind the scenes videos, comics, giveaways, special merch, access to our Discord, and a bunch more. 